Hey, 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 Garden Fam! Welcome back, welcome back. This is your girl Erica with My World is Gorgeous. We're in Richmond, Virginia, 7A. For those of you that it's your first time, and for those of you that it's not, like I said, welcome back. Well, you see, I'm in a different setting. We are not outside. Wanna know why? Because yesterday, it flooded. Uh, we had a flood warning and the warning came to pass. So because outside is flooded, um, the garden area is flooded, the greenhouse is flooded. Um, if I walk in there, my feet will be completely covered in water. So hopefully um, by tomorrow or the day after, that will have started to dry up or soak into the ground. And um, you know, that's something that I'm just working with until I finish getting my floor put into the greenhouse. Y'all know I garden on a budget. So I do have um, some of the stones are already in there on the floor, but I have to get the gravel that goes around the outer side and stuff like that, which would absorb all of that water. And then after that, it will not flood anymore. So <clears throat> being that we're inside, what I decided to do, and I'm looking down at my notes, what I decided to do was talk to you all about all the things that we've gone through over 2023, 2023. Um, being that we're in the beginning of 2024, we have a lot of goals and things that we're gonna do this year. You know, we started Thrifty Tuesday, whoop, whoop. <laughs> I was so excited about that. And thank you all for tuning in on Thrifty Tuesday. It has been doing wonderful these last two weeks and I'm excited to show you next week on Thrifty Tuesday what all that I have. Now, what we're going to start off with today, let's look and see. Okay, okay. So first things first, this is what the side yard looked like or one of the driveways the beginning or the middle, beginning to middle of the spring. Once everything started to coming in, we had pots and everything just filling in with so many different beautiful flowers. And then I decided that I wanted something different. And so I started changing it around. You know, we revamped the um, driveway area. This area here got overgrown with weeds. <laughs> so the um, mulch, it was no more. And so um, then we just got all that mulch up and we went right back to gravel. But this is what it was looking like before. Oh, look at my beautiful hydrangea tree. And then all of this was grass. You see that, you know, we had other flowers and hydrangeas coming down this side here. Um, and so we just changed all of that. You know, um, if you recall, I was still getting up some of the tree that had fallen down. Our greenhouse had not been built just yet. And so this is what the yard was looking like at the beginning of um, the spring going into actually some of the summer. I was able to get the last of that tree from my yard up during um, the spring. And so yes, that was a lot to take in. But then we had our seed starts going that were going on inside. Cause remember the greenhouse wasn't built yet. So here are the seeds that we were starting inside. And we started coleus also. We had a lot going on. Let's check that out. Yes, yes, yes. We had so many different seeds that we started from our Swiss chard to our Roma tomatoes, our peppers that are in the back, um, other tomatoes that I had going on. I had some things that I was trying to root. These were, oh, Oh, those right there. That what that was our avocados. I was so excited about that as well. 
And then we rolling right over into before I revamped this area that had so many of my rose bushes. This was my sunny day rose bush that had rose rosé. And I had to get that out as well as a lot of my other roses. So then at that point, I had to revamp this whole area. I took out um, my... I took out my hostas and those, um, you know, and everything. This is me showing you where I could see the beginning of the Rose Rosé at. And it was just all throughout it. So, um, yeah, that's what was going on here. And then we had added more hostas in where i separated some and then i bought some other ones that i never had before and guess what y'all we collected seeds for the first time from my kale and from other flowers allowing it to dry out and collect seeds i was so ecstatic about that now let's take a look at once the coleus seeds were coming up. Oh, they just looked so beautiful. I was so excited. And that just pushed me even more to knowing that I needed a greenhouse so I could start my coleus seeds early and I could start more of them. I'm so excited this year about the coleus that I'm going to start so that way I can have coleus just all over my yard. Okay, y'all? All over my yard. And then as we keep looking as to when the coleus started getting bigger, and that's the arugula down bottom, but as we start looking up, we will see the coleus. And here they are looking gorgeous as ever. I took them out of their seed starting trays and put them into individual pots so that way they could get really good roots and they actually stayed there until I put them in some raised um, beds. The other thing we did this year yeah, was, and I apologize for the bit video Without being dropping. this okay. smaller, but we did lemon cucumbers. That is something that more than likely I will not do again this year. I was not totally displeased with them. I just thought I was going to get a little bit more or feel a little bit better about them. Just like with, and I don't have a picture in it for um, this video that we're doing, but the... Um, the cucumber melons. I will not be doing those this year either. My hopes was that that would be something that I could just walk around the garden and pop in my mouth, but I wasn't feeling the taste. It didn't give me that punch that I was really looking for. So maybe in a couple of years, I'll do it again, but not right now. We have my strawberries here as well as my you saw it, spaghetti squash, my first time ever growing spaghetti squash. And then we have some more tomatoes, which I was, I always do well with my tomatoes. That's never a problem. But yes, I was able to harvest a spaghetti squash this year. We will be planting spaghetti squash again next year. Just want to let you know. And here is the creme de la creme, my greenhouse, y'all. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm so excited about that. And remember, we got a green stalk. Green stalk this year. Let's not forget about that. And we got the house painted, y'all, which to me made the flowers pop even more better. That looks great. We tried loofahs this year for the first time. And I got one loofah. I was able to finally get loofah seeds. I had to keep drying them and drying them in the house, drying it in the house. So this year we will do much better with the loofah gourd and we're going to have some loofahs y'all. You hear me? I just wanted to take another look back at how gorgeous, how gorgeous, how gorgeous these flowers look up against that yellow house. Well, at least to me anyway. So yellow and white house, beautiful mixed color of flowers up against it it just looks wonderful i just needed to take another look back at that that was just beautiful all right fam well thanks for tuning in with me i was trying not to make it too long i just tried to pull out a few of those major points <laughs> that was going on and i'll look through some things to see if we got any more major things that happened that was awesome um last year in 2023 and you know what? 
we just gonna stop right there. I enjoy spending time with you all. Drop in the comments some of your favorite things that you saw that you liked that went on in My World is Gorgeous last year. And maybe some things that you may think you may wanna see in My World is Gorgeous. Cause you know what? It's all about my world, right? And you're a part of this world now. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when we're uploading things. All right, see you later.